மணிவாய் சார் குட் மார்னிங் சார் சார் குட் மார்னிங் சார் ஸ்டார்ட் பண்ணிடலாமா சார் சுகுமார் சார் ப்ளீஸ் சார் தேங்க்யூ சார் குட் மார்னிங் டு ஒன் ஆண்டால் கேதரிகர் இட்ஸ் மை மன்ஸ் பிளஸ்டர் டு வெல்கம் த கேதரிங் ஆஃப் பிஹெச்டி பை ஓஎஸ்சி எக்ஸாமினேஷன் ஆஃப் மிஸ்டர் பாலகணேஷ் he is presently he is working as a assistant director of physical education at anna anna university so in this fine occasion first of all i would like to welcome our external examiner dr maniyalaga sir associate professor uh, department of physical education alappa university karakudi on behalf of the department of physical education and my own behalf we all heartily welcome you sir thank you sir i do welcome the research supervisor and convener of this yoc examination uh, dr sugumar sir uh former uh, director of uh, director of physical education of anna university so in this fine occasion on behalf of the department of physical education and my own behalf you all heartily welcome you sir Thank i do you, welcome sir. the faculty members of uh, department of physical education dr thirumalai kumar sir dr lili pushpa madam dr kumaravel sir dr uh, rajesh kumar sir dr jay kumar sir vel kumar sir and lakshmanan and jay chandran and koila madam i do welcome the faculty members of various departments of tamil nadu physical and sports university I do welcome the faculty members from the various affiliated colleges and professional colleagues, MPhil PhD scholars, and my dear students. Once again, I welcome you all in this fine occasion. Now I hand over the session to the convener and research supervisor to introduce about the examiner as well as the scholar. Over to you, sir. Please, sir. Thank you very much, uh, Dr. Manikandar, sir. Revered Vice Chancellor, sir. Registrar. respected external examiner the head of the department of physical education and the controller of examination other heads of departments of uh, the tamil nadu physical education sports university and faculty members members of the non teaching friends ladies and gentlemen every good gift and every perfect gift is from above with a thankful heart i humble myself to share my greetings to one and all as we meet one another in this zoom platform with abundant health and peace which is the need of the hour in this period that devastated the whole world yet god is gracious unto us it is my pleasure first of all to introduce the external examiner dr d maniyalagu who is popular popular among us serving in the field of physical education and sports he has a rich and rewarding experience 22 years of experience in this field of research and teaching and serving as the associate professor at the department of physical education health sciences and health sciences alagappa university karikuri where he continues to serve as associate professor there are 35 cant scholars in his kitty who have been awarded with phd besides 60 in mphil and one in ms yoga he has thus far made 100 37 publications in the refereed journals of which 107 are in the international reputed journals and 30 in the at the national level he has presented 67 papers in total 29 at the international seminars and the rest 38 at the national seminars he has completed ugc and icssr projects major ones to a tune of 70 lakhs which include one icssr project in the pipeline he visited several countries which include thailand south korea singapore and the netherlands he holds membership in five include in five professional bodies 
including the recent one, the Asian College of Exercise and Sports Sciences, adjudicated 20 PhD theses, delivered 20 invited lectures, and involved in extension activities. Based on his expertise and administrative capabilities, authorities of the Alagapa University have interested him with various responsibilities which he discharged them well to gain glory to the university. He is recipient of about 15 international and national awards, which speaks loud of his commitment and service to this field. In general, he is polite, humble, simple, dependable, friendly, and easily approachable, approachable. Such a nice human being that we have sitting for the 25th time as external examiner amidst us. I welcome you, sir. Thank you, sir. Mr. S. Balaganesh, a good friend to me first. Uh, he's a commerce graduate. He did his BPA and MPA in Bardia University. And he holds a diploma in coaching, a full-time diploma in coaching, hockey. Passed out from NSNAS Patiala. And now working as the assistant director of physical education and secretary of the sports board, Anonymous Sports Board since 2003. As a secretary of the sports board, he is liaising the work between the All India International Sports Board and more than 500 engineering colleges in the state of Tamil Nadu, which are divided into 19 zones. And he is conducting competitions for both men and women at the zone and interzonal levels. He conducts South Zone and All India University Championships on behalf of the Association of Indian Universities. And he is involved in the selection of teams to represent Anna University in various games and sport. He organizes the annual award function on behalf of the Anna University Sports Board. And he was the convener of the uh, scrutiny committee for the eminent sports persons quota in Anna University and as well as medicine. One of his key achievements is that he introduced hockey league in the anonymous campus by which he is able to produce more than 1,000 hockey players, both put together, both men and women, which is a new venture, I would say. Having so much of passion towards the game of hockey, and the experience gained as a player and coach, Mr. S. Balaganesh understood after going through literature that some of the important tests have been ignored in the selection of tests and included the factors in the skill tests that are necessary for his research, which is entitled Construction of Norms for Selected Skills and Engineering for Engineering College Men Hockey Players in Tamil Nadu. With these introductory remarks, I wish to hand over the session to our beloved external examiner, Dr. D. Maniyalagu, with a request to conduct the public viva voce examination as per the rules and regulations laid down by the Tamil Nadu Physical Education and Sports University. Thank you. Thank you, sir, for your kind words. A very good morning to you all. A warm greetings from Alagappa University, a Department of Physical Education and Health Sciences. I am very happy to be here as an external examiner of this PhD Viva Voice examination under the able supervision of Dr. J.P. Sukumar, sir. 
Uh, before going to my official proceedings of this Viva OIC examinations, I extend my sincere uh, gratitude and hearty thanks to the Honorable Vice Chancellor, sir, most respected uh, registrar, sir, most respected controller of examination, sir, who nominating me as an examiner of this particular research work. And also, I parallelly express my couple of thanks to the formerly a registrar of this great university, the formerly a director of sports, sports board Anna University, the formerly director of sports, the Madras Christian College, and the research supervisor of this YOS examination for including me as one among the examiner of his evaluation panel. And also, I express my sincere gratitude to all the eminent personalities who were working in the great university in the cadre of professors, associate professors, and assistant professors for guiding the scholar in a effective way. In this few words, I conclude myself. Now I invite the research scholar, Mr. Balaganesh, to present your research work in this learned gathering. Mr. Balaganesh, please. Thank you, sir. Good morning to one and all present here. Honorable Vice Chancellor, Dr. M. Sundar, Tamil Nadu Physical Education and Sports University, respected Registrar, Dr. V. Gopinath, Tamil Nadu Physical Education and Sports University, respected External Examiner, Dr. D. Maniyalagu, Associate Professor, Department of Physical Education and Health Sciences, Alagapa University, Karekudi. Respected Dr. S. Manihandan, Professor and Head, Department of Physical Education and Controller of Examination, Tamil Nadu Physical Education and Sports University. My beloved guide, Dr. J.P. Sugumar, Director of Physical Education, Retired Anna University. Respected Dr. Grace Helena, Professor, Department of Exercise Physiology. Respected Dr. Thirumalai Kumar, Dr. Durai, Dr. Senthil, and our respected professors, associate professors, and assistant professors from various departments, Tamil Nadu Physical Education and Sports University, and my colleague, Dr. Evelyn Cynthia, Dr. Balakumar, uh, who is working in Anna University Sports Board, uh, Director of Physical Education from various engineering colleges, and all my participants. It's a great pleasure to air my topic and present in this forum. My topic is the construction of norms for selected skills for engineering college men hockey players in Tamil Nadu. Once the Nelson Mandela said, I think during 2000, May 2000, uh, in a sports uh, world annual award function, he quoted that the sports has power to change this world. It has the power to inspire and it has power to unite the people. Nowadays, uh, we are going through a lot of problem in this society, uh, in and around the world. The only mean the sports has the power to change all the things. 
when we go for the sports it can create hope where once there was only the despair regarding hockey it's a most thrilling spectacular sport in this world it has a very exciting moments it gives very good experience while we play the game it has very essence of aggressiveness it is worth watching while playing and uh, india has developed a lot of players like tanraj pillai and major dhyan chand and sardar ar things so hockey has many role in this society uh, it can give pleasure and happiness those who are playing and enjoying the game india has achieved many laurels lore to this india from 1928 to 1956 we got gold medal and 64 and 80s we got another two medals after that we have never achieved and we have never reached to the podium after 41 years we have reached our highest ranking that is third position in tokyo olympics about the skills the hockey has a lot of skills like hit push scoop flick and uh, passing tackling and uh, like uh, set plays so so many things we are having in hockey uh, as a hockey player we we must understand to get the good results we should repeat the skills and uh, until until it it gets uh, acclimatized to our body so it's uh, we should grasp the complexities involved in the skill and must make up in the mind a clear picture what is going to come also the game of hockey is very complicated in terms of skills uh from the fundamental skills every few selected skills namely dribbling flicking pushing dragging scooping and shooting will be selected as a variable for the construction of this norms the norm is a scale for the conversion from a raw score to a score for comparison and interpretations if the test is a combined by the norms its usefulness is enhanced the norm provides a reliable and useful basics we have selected eight test items for the construction of this norms the criteria for selecting the norms the personal norms have been developed for several popular tests in physical education a personal score norms indicates a player's relative position in a group and informs the player of percentage of the players who score below his score it is a common procedure that establishing the norms of a test is possible only if the related data are representing a mostly normal probability curve therefore the normality of distribution of score as obtained from each item of the skill test was statistically tested separately after finding out the nature of the distribution and on the basis of the characteristics of probability curve the percentile norms each test items were determined and for this the scores in each item were grouped together and divided into logical step intervals of frequency distribution the hockey skill of athletes was interpreted by using a scale on the basis of six sigma scale and as a outstanding good above average average and poor respectively based on their overall score namely percentile scale which was developed for all the eight test items why we have selected this topic india in india no norms has been constructed so far in engineering colleges in tamil nadu hence i felt the need to develop construct and evaluate the norm of hockey playing ability test for engineering college men hockey players the principal objective of the present investigation is to construct the skill test of engineering college men hockey players in tamil nadu it was also proposed as a consequence 
to establish the norm table for the test model for the players. Here we can see the statement of the problem. The main purpose of the present study was to construct norms for selected skills for engineering college men hockey players in Tamil Nadu. The hypothesis, it was hypothesized that the constructed norms would be appropriate to assess the selected skills for engineering college men hockey players in Tamil Nadu. In the selection of the subject, we have in engineering in Tamil Nadu, uh, we have around uh, 440 colleges, engineering colleges, uh, mainly uh, the CEG, ACTEC, and MIT campuses have a uh, good hockey players around uh, only men. I'm saying about the men team. We have around 500 to 600 students. Uh, each and every year we are producing uh, good players. Uh, they start in the first year and they uh, learn the game. Uh, some of the players from the school and uh, uh, minimum players are from in this campus itself. They develop their skills uh, in the peak uh, uh, after two to three years. The age of the subjects were ranged from 18 to 25 years. The selected players were in excellent conditions and no one have injuries or recovering from the injury. All the subjects were experienced in hockey and the training at the, at the age ranged between five to 10 years. Here we can see the chart of methodology for this eight games. We have constructed these norms by using the statistical analysis of mean and standard deviation and six sigma scale and percentage scale. The criterion measures of the eight test items were measured in points. The reliable of the test, we have selected two coaches and a research scholar given the uh, uh, the reliable and validity objectivity of the test. They were designed and uh, they have certified the test was, the test was uh, reliable and valid and objectivity. We have administered the test in two days. Uh, on the first day, four skill tests were conducted and another day we have conducted another four tests. The time of the test was 6 to 8 a.m. in the morning and 4 to 6 in the evening. Now we can see the skills, the triple flick, the drag flick, and triple and drag flick. Here we have given in, the, in this picture, the A zone, we have marked in the side of the goalpost. In the corner, the B zone is marked in the zone C, the center zone, and uh, the scoring point in the for A zone, we have given three points. For B zone, we have given two points. In the C zone, we have allotted one point. The next skill is drag push and dribble and drag push. We have divided the goalpost in three parts. The side corner, bottom of the side corner, the one yard marked as a A zone, both the sides. The balancing zones marked as B zone. For A zone, we have elected three points. In B zone, we have elected one point. In this test, the all the uh, players given three trials and three attempts for scoring. Drag and scoop, dribble and scoop. In this test, we have marked the one yard in the top of the goalpost, that is called zone A. The balance zone is called zone B. We have allotted for the zone A three points, for zone B one point. Angle shooting. In this angle shooting, we have divided the goalpost in the seven parts. Zone A, both the sides, and the corner, both the corner are marked as zone B, and the mid mode marked as zone C and the center mode marked as zone D. The marks were alerted shown in this 
table for a zone four points for b zone three points for c zone two points and for d one points were awarded here we can see the statistical analysis the spss version 2.0 was used to construct this norms and alpha level of 0.05 was used to determine statistical significance the data collected were analyzed with the following statistical techniques the descriptive statistics was used to find out the mean and standard deviation of selected variables among engineering college men hockey players after collecting the raw scores mean and standard deviation were computed by the formula which was su suggested by donald matthew after calculating the mean and standard deviations the score were converted into percentile scale and a six sigma scale for developing the final grade here we can see the results on the norms of triple flick the table shows the descriptive table it mentioning the mean was 6.1 the standard deviation was 1.76 the variance the variance is uh, 3.118 and the skewness was 0.312 the vertice was minus 0.776 in the next table the histogram with the normal curve of the curve of the triple flick it shows the positive skewness here we can see the percentile scale norms of triple flick the lower point 3 the that means the score is in the 10th percentile the maximum score 9 is in the 100 percentile the six sigma scale for the triple flick the maximum players were recorded in the mean zone the next one is the qualitative grading for the constructed norms of triple flick uh, here we can the by uh, we can see the pie graph it shows the seven percentage were outstanding and 18 percentage were in good category and 44 percentage were in above average category 17 percentage were in average category and 14 percentage were in poor category next test the results on the norms of drag flick here we can see the mean it was 6.12 the standard deviation was 1.77 the skewness is minus 0.340 the vertice is 0.0779 this graph of the normal curve of drag flick shows the positive skewness the percentile scale norms for this drag flick the lowest point 3 is in the 10th percentile and the 9 was in 100 percentile this scale of six sigma shows the maximum uh, players recorded in the mean the result on the norms of the drag flick is uh, as the pie, pie graph shows uh, seven percentage were outstanding 19 percentage were in good category 44 percentage were in above average category 19 percentage were in average category 11 percentage were in poor category the next results on the norms of triple and drag flick the descriptive analysis of this table shows uh, the mean was 6.1 the standard deviation was 1.77 the skewness is minus 0.296 the vertice is minus 0.816 this hologram with a normal curve of the triple and drag the table shows the positive skewness the percentile scale shows the lower lowest point over 3 is in the 10th percentile maximum point 9 was in the 100th percentile this six sigma scale for drag flick and triple and drag flick the maximum players were recorded in the mean the qualitative grading for the constructed norms were given in this table here we can see the pie graph it shows six percentage were outstanding 17 percentage were in good category 44 percentage were in the above category 18 percentage were in the average category the next test is drag and scoop the descriptive analysis of this drag 
first we can see the mean was 6.0 6 6.3 the standard deviation 2.18 the variance was 4.74 the skewness minus 0.186 the courtesy is minus 0 0.1260 the histogram with the normal curve of the drag push shows this also the positive skewness the percentile scale norms for the drag push here we can see the lowest point in the 10th percentile and the maximum point in the 100th percentile. This also, the uh, Six Sigma scales, it was the maximum place where in the mean, they were cut at the mean. The result on the norms of the drag push, the qualitative grading for the constructor norms shown in this table, there is 244 students were outstanding, 297 students were in good category, 351 students were average category, 348 students were in poor category. The pie graph shows the percentage. We can see this. So the next, next test of the triple and drag push, the descriptive analysis of the triple and drag push, we can see the mean it was 6.21, the standard deviation was 2.152, the variance was 4.63, the skewness minus 0.132, the courtesy is minus 0.1.24. The histogram with the normal curve of the dribble, dribble and drag push, this also shows the positive skewness. The percentile scale shows, here we can see the three point in the 10th percentile and the maximum point was in the 100th percentile. The Six Sigma scale for uh, triple and drag push also shows the maximum players were recorded in the mean. The result on the norms of the triple and drag push. Here we can see the qualitative grading of for the constructor norms for triple drag and the push. For 249 students who are outstanding, 313 players were in good category. 358 were in average category, 320 were in the poor category. The pie graph shows the uh, percentage. You can see this. Next one is the result of drag and scoop. The descriptive analysis shows in this table. The mean was 6.25. The standard deviation was 2.182. The skewness was 0.157. The courtesy was 1.275. This histogram also shows the positive skewness. The percentile scale of norms of the drag scoop, the lowest 0.3 shows uh, it should be in the 10th percentile, and the maximum score of 9, it should be in the 100th percentile. The result of the norms of drag and scoop the qualitative grading for the constructor norms of drag and scoop, we can see the pie graph. The 21 percentage of uh, were in the outstanding category, 24 percentage were in good category, 28 percentage were in average category, 27 percentage were in poor category. The next one is triple and drag scoop, the descriptive analysis of triple and Drag scoop, we can see the mean value, it was 6.1. The standard deviation was 2.207. The skewness was minus 0 0.036. The courtesy shows 1.327. The histogram with the normal curve of triple and drag scoop shows the positive skewness. The percentile scale norms of the triple and drag scoop the lowest point, number three, is in the 10th percentile. Maximum point nine was in the 100th percentile. This Six Sigma scale for triple and drag scoop, this also, for oh, maximum players were recorded in the mean. The result on the norms of the triple and drag scoop, the qualitative grading for the constructor norms shows 276 players were outstanding, 332 players were in good condition. Uh, 307 players were in average category. 
three twenty five players were in poor category. In the bike bike graph shows twenty two percentage outstanding, twenty seven percentage was good, twenty five percentage was in average, twenty six were poor category. The next result shows the angle shooting. The descriptive analysis of the angle shooting. The table shows the mean was six point six seven. The standard deviation was two point one seven four. The skewness was minus point two seven one. The courtesy shows minus point one two four. The histogram with the normal curve of the angle shooting shows the positive skewness. The percentile scale. Norms of the angle shooting shows the lowest point three in the tenth percentile, and the maximum point twelve was in the hundredth percentile. The six sigma scale for angle shooting this also shows the maximum plays were recorded in the mean. The qualitative grading for the constructed norms of angle shooting: the eighty-seven students were outstanding, one twenty-five students were good. Four zero four students were above average. Four twenty eight students were average. One ninety six students were poor. The pie graph shows seven percentage are outstanding. Ten percentage uh, were good. Thirty three percentage were above average. Thirty four percentage were average, and sixteen percentage were poor. Here we can. the discussion of the findings norms for hockey players of engineering college tamil nadu state were constructed in terms of percentage scale and six sigma scale the selected skills was tested and employed in this study hence players from all over the engineering colleges in tamil nadu who fulfill these conditions were selected for the study the upper age group of the players has been limited to 25 years The norms for the both above test were studied thoroughly for evaluating evaluation of the players using percentile scale, lower score ten and the upper score hundred, and in six sigma scale, lower scale minus three standard deviation and upper scale plus three standard deviation were applied. It is concluded that the percentile scale able to identify the players' position. Where they stand. The result in the graphical representation of six sigma scale indicates the maximum number of players are recorded in the mean range in that lower scale remain below the score. Hence, the constructor norms would be able to select the players at engineering college level. On the whole, the result of the study were strengthening the viewpoint of the following research experts, trainees. and biomechanics scientist in the past in the present study the finding of the study are consistent with the several reports the research, research conducted during the 2000 year by sunderland and during 2011 the britney in 2004 by jenser they revealed that skills are more important in playing field hockey the jenser In two thousand thirteen, he discriminates the elite and sub elite youth field hockey players with reference to their technical skills. The Kyuk in two thousand three, he stated that the dribbling and shooting accuracy can distinguish between field hockey player of varying standards. Therefore, the talent identification programs for field hockey should include assessment of these skill tests. The previous research conducted by Giok during 2012, he revealed that mixed or random practice scheduled can be used effectively when structuring practice for the beginners. In the discussion of these findings, the previous investigation of video curve and as in 2006, he yielded the following coaching recommendations for an enhanced push. in performance that is the maximize drag distance by maximizing front foot and the ball distance that is the space between our leg and the space how we drag the ball 
that how it traveled uh, from back foot to front foot is mentioning that is a combination of simultaneous and sequential segment rotation to optimize both accuracy and ball speed and maximize the drag speed the formulated hypothesis stated that the constructor norms would be appropriate to assess the specific skill of field hockey players the result of the study it revealed that the norms of skill test constructed would be appropriate to assess the skill of field hockey players hence the hypothesis was accepted from the analysis of the data we can conclude the drawing points in given it was concluded that in hockey skill test as per the qualitative grading by the constructor norms it was seen that out of 1240 subjects in triple flick skill test 172 subject that is 14 percentage were poor 211 subject that is 17 percentage were in average 548 subject that is 44 percentage were above average 221 subject that is 18 percentage were in the good category and the remaining 88 subject that is 7 percentage were in the outstanding category it was concluded that in hockey skill test as per the qualitative grading by the constructor norms it was found that out of 1240 subjects in drag and flick skill test 140 subjects that is 11 percentage were poor 235 subject 19 percentage were average 543 subject that is 44 percentage were above average 234 subject that is 19 percentage were in the good category and the remaining 86 students were in the outstanding category it was concluded that in hockey skill test as per the qualitative grading by the constructor norms was found that out of 1240 subject in triple and drag flick 184 subject that is 15 percentage were poor 211 subject that is 18 percentage were in average 546 subjects were above average 211 subjects were in good category and the remaining 79 subjects that is 6 percentage in the outstanding category it was concluded that in hockey skill test here we can found that out of 1240 subjects in rack and push skill 348 subject that is 14 percentage were poor 351 subject 17 percentage were in average category 297 that is 18 percentage were in the good category and remaining 244 subject that is 7 percentage were in outstanding category it was concluded that in hockey skill test as per the qualitative grading it was found that out of 1240 subjects in civil and push skill test 26 percentage were poor 29 percentage were in average 25 percentage were in good category and the remaining 249 subject that is 20 percentage were in the outstanding category it was concluded that in the hockey skill test as per the qualitative grading we can see the drag and scoop skill test out of 1240 students 339 subjects that is 27 percentage were in poor category 348 subject that is 28 percentage were in average 300 subject that is 24 percentage were in good category and the remaining 253 subject that is 21 percentage were in outstanding category it was concluded that in hockey skill test as per the qualitative grading here we can see that triple and drag scoop skill test out of 1240 uh, we can find 14 percentage were poor 17 percentage were in average 548 subject that is 44 percentage were above average and 18 percentage were in good category and the remaining 88 subject that is 7 percentage were in outstanding category it was concluded that hockey skill test as per the qualitative grading we can find the angle shooting out of 1240 subjects 325 subjects that is 26 percentage were poor screener seven subject and that is 25 were in average 
32 subject that is 27 percentage were in good category and the remaining 276 subject 22 percentage were in outstanding category with this study i would like to recommend on the basis of the result the skill test con constructed and standardized may be used by the physical education personnel and the trainers to assess the status of engineering college men hockey players it should help them to inform their performances. The field hockey specific skill test constructed and the norms computed through this research study are strongly recommended for application by the coaches in the game to choose their team players based on mainly on skill level. The result of this study may be helpful for the selector for choosing the college level players on the basis of these norms. The result of the present study may help to the coaches and physical education teachers, coaches to schedule their training plan and giving emphasis on the selected variables like this uh, drag, uh, drag scoops, drag flick, and uh, ma majorly uh, the drag skills. The constructed norms can be successfully administered to discriminate the talented hockey players this will help to compose a standard engineering college level hockey team. The constructed, the skill is associated with the performance. The implementation of suitable training of skill variable are to be incorporated in physical education program for the development of hockey performance. This study may help to frame the different training method by laying emphasis on the development of the physical fitness and the fundamental skills. The suggest suggestion for the further research, we would like to say the norms may be constructed for the newly designed skill test for the other level of players, such as university, district, and state in the game of hockey. The similar study may be conducted to construct norms for other skills also, that is other variables in hockey. A similar study may be con conducted to construct norms for engineering college women hockey players in Tamil Nadu. The similar study may be conducted to construct norms for other skill variables in major games like football, handball, basketball, like these things, both for boys and girls in engineering colleges in Tamil Nadu. The research workers may reasonably find the similar principle of test development in other sports. The similar study may be conducted to construct norms for school level also and the college level boys and girls. With this, I would like to finish my presentation. Thank you, one and all. Uh, well, Mr. Balaganesh, for your uh, wonderful and apt presentation, about your entire research work in the nutshell form within the limitation of the time. Thank you. Uh, in line with this PhD Viva Voice examination, we are moving on to the next session. That is the first, the scholar may response few questions raised by the examiners who evaluated his thesis. And secondly, if any clarifications from the audience side, you may ask the specific question within the presented topic. Yes. Now I move on to the questions raised by the foreign examiner. Uh, Mr. Balaganesh, in the game of hockey, the lot of skills are involved to enhancing the performance of the whole game. But as far as your study is concerned, you are choosing only six specific skills. Can you justify there is any a reason for selection of these specific six skill tests? Over to you, Mr. Balaganesh. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, as far as I am concerned, uh, not only myself, uh, many hockey players uh, would accept uh, this uh, uh, the drag flex uh, selection of this uh, drag flex skills. The hockey has a lot of skills, 
and olden days all the skills were uh, treated equally and performed in all the zones of the play field nowadays we can see the mid zones were uh, i think it 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 was it were avoided and uh, the scale, the rules and the play field insist uh, they go for the drag flick and drag push and uh, this uh, drag type of skills uh, we have lost uh, uh, good skills like hit uh, like we have excellent uh, uh, skill like uh, return pass and many uh, short skills were uh, uh, neglected by this uh, usage of the, this uh, drag flick and the rules the rules uh, insist uh, such a way that uh, we never avoid this drag flick for scoring also uh, always we should go for the drag flick that is the first preference of each and every player from school school started uh, the students also they are uh, trying practice the drag skills so that is the uh, thing we have selected this uh, drag skills yes Uh, in in line with your answer i continued one more clarifications yes why your scoring pattern are more in the corner side rather than the center point there is any logical behind will uh, making the scoring system in the skill test yes sir yes sir sure sir because the weakness of the goalkeeper is always advantage to the forwards that is scorer the goalkeeper stands in the mid, mid area of the goal post so always the side goal post are the side nets and the corner in the bottom corner of the uh, goal post uh, and the top and bottom of the corner goal post always it is free the when the player uh, execute the skill or uh, score the goal uh, it's uh, it's easy to score in that corner itself so it, it was very difficult for the goalkeeper to save such a uh, Uh, balls uh, which traveled uh, into into that uh, corner place you have witnessed this some incidents like this yes sir in uh, recent uh, olympics also uh, uh, while our women team uh, played uh, in the crucial uh, qualifying game that means in that uh, uh, quarter final uh, that drag flick is help uh, helped us to enter into the semi final that is a great achievement of our uh, women hockey teams right uh, it's my observation yes uh, you said some in a discussion part some of the references you quoted yes some authors yes it's it's line with your study yes. right yes right my question is their findings and your findings in what way is differ or in what way it's similar the findings uh, we have constructed this norms uh, norms we would always say it's a standard point uh, when it's called a standard we have a frame it will come into the frame that is that and that is uh, the, the frame is always called as a rule the rules uh, always insist the discipline and a certain work uh, that no one should go out of this uh, work and that is the frame of uh, this norm uh, which leads the player always learn to discipline and uh, uh, follow the discipline and uh, they should uh, serve to the society that means uh, the sports has the ma- major role to formulate uh, like uh, nelson mandela said uh, it unite the people it always give power to the players to the people and uh, we can uh, make with this uh, norms uh, like saying as, as a quote uh, it, it it gives peace to this world i would say yes it's my personal uh, final question in line with your last answer you said this study impact in society in what way your findings will help to the society oriented basis especially in the game of hockey is concerned yes sir uh, <coughs> hockey uh, once uh, uh, it was played in the all over the world mostly during 2028 to 56 we have uh, we have uh, secured so many medals in the uh, world for in this in this olympic uh, forum uh, 
uh, that time most of the people used to play hockey now the scenario has changed uh, it's a step by step we are losing that uh, uh, that uh, that glories uh, in recent in, the, in tokyo 2020 we have started gaining that so by uh, calculating that uh, view, view of uh, the players and the will be share of the hockey uh, i have decided to uh, construct these norms uh, to so for selection of the players which is so easy to understand uh, and execute uh, that is what uh, i would uh, like to say this uh, we of on uh, on behalf of this society or on, the, on behalf of the hockey lovers thank you mr balaganesh now we move on to the next session of this vios examination now the session is open to all dear participants if you need to clarify any doubts within the present title you may unlock your mobile or your connection then you may put forth your clarifications to the scholar if you need further you may go for in future because it's a time bound everyone may be asked their clarification so the opportunities may be go for everyone so now the sessions open to all so this is dr grace uh, good morning good afternoon to all of you present in this forum and uh, i'm i'm so happy to be associated with this uh, vivovc examination where uh, uh, my uh, student own student and a great student sitting here as an examiner dr maniyalagu and my teacher uh, dr uh, jp sukumar as a guy and uh, uh, again a family friend of mine dr mr uh, um, balagane is sitting here as a candidate so i'm so happy to be here to say few words and first of all i would like to congratulate dr jp sukumar for having uh, produced a wonderful scholar in your tenure uh, your uh, that means the last candidate of yours in physical education in the field of physical education and that too in your own uh, game you also play hockey and played hockey and won uh, many laurels to this state and also you have uh, chosen a hockey player to uh, bring up a good study and produce uh, this scholar uh, to this extent so congratulations once again i also congratulate mr uh, um, bal ganesh for your wonderful presentation as dr maniyalagu said that your pictures your illustrations your table graphs and substantiated with other studies everything was clear clearly explained and you are also mentioned each and every examples and for the queries ready uh, raised by the examiner you could able to explain in a detailed manner and uh, 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 that shows your mastery over the skills in hockey as well as uh, the study which you have undertook and uh, you uh, as uh, as far as uh, the balaganesh is concerned uh, whenever i pass through anna university while going home and the players will be playing and balaganesh will be giving instruction to them and even at the uh, flood light uh, uh, the people will be playing so the whole life is been uh, given to hockey by balaganesh and uh, congratulations balaganesh and you are promoting hockey Uh, especially in the area of engineering and uh, all uh, engineering colleges as you said 500 to 600 uh, uh, students are training every year so they are very uh, happy and they are lucky to have you as a uh, master for this uh, hockey and uh, your study remains uh, my study when i was doing my phd in 1998 Uh, the construction of norms for offered youth fitness test where we do not have uh, this uh, powerpoint presentation and so on and so forth we had only overhead projector and we could able to present our topic and there now we could not able to show the pictures illustrate 
gentlemen, so many things, the tables and so on and so forth. I would like to tell you one thing here. If you could have added this, this uh, the technology world, if you could have added by, uh, uh, after showing the picture of the scoring system in the gold post, and you should have added the picture or a video of drag push or drag flick, all those things, if you could have added, and it would have been a better, better study. And uh, maybe, uh, as you said, the future researchers will follow these things because the technology is improved. So I am telling you that you would have added this. Uh, so that is the only point which I wanted to tell you. And as you have suggested and your results are the norms which you have constructed can be or shall be submitted to your vice chancellor or the principals of affiliated colleges and uh, your uh, uh, university engineering colleges so that uh, they may use these norms for the selection of the players. So your uh, presentation on the whole was uh, excellent. And I'm so happy uh, to be a part of this YOVC examination and continue your uh, service for the hockey. And I know that you are doing a work, good work, uh, especially for the women hockey in engineering uh, colleges and university. So continue to do and all the best once again. God bless you. Thank you all very much. Thank you, Dr. Mani Alagri, for giving me this opportunity. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Why you have not added either the video or picture regarding the uh, skill and the scoring? That, uh, I think uh, it takes more space in this uh, mode, I think so, ma'am. Uh, this I would have added that uh, uh, video also, ma'am. Yes, if you have done now, it will be yes. a yes. Well, yes. Thank you. Thank yes. you. Thank you. Thank you. If anyone interested Clarification of the doubts ends in the two aspects. One, uh, fulfill the uh, scholar's uh, examination. And another one, it helps to enrich the knowledge in future. So if you need any clarifications in the presented title, you may clarify your doubts. Sir, I'm uh, Dr. Sundar Raj. I yes, would like please. to. I am. I am retired uh, deputy director of association from uh, Veterinary University. I. I. I should thank uh, Dr. J. B. Sukumar. He has uh, taken a wonderful uh, um, guidance in producing uh, um, scholars in physical education. I congratulate uh, Dr. Sukumar first and. Uh, the exam examiner come from Alahapa University. Which university is, uh, I, I always uh, remember because uh, I did my MPhil from Alahapa University and uh, Dr. Pound Radha was my guide. And, uh, and uh, he's uh, one of the main institutions in Tamil Nadu to produce the such scholars. On that, uh, I, I, I welcome and uh, uh, congratulate uh, the external exam, sir. And uh, I also uh, thank our uh, former vice chancellor of our sports university, uh, Dr. Grace Madam, for having come here and um, given her suggestion and uh, uh, talk about the um, importance of the hockey and the presentation. And it's very good. And I welcome and uh, our present uh, vice chancellor registrar and uh, and finally, the, um, our, the candidate, the scholar, was presented, was presented very nicely. And uh, I think, uh, I think uh, Dr. Sugumar has created 
and very beautiful manner so that he, the hockey can go up to the level of uh, the villages level now as he said it has um, uh, it has uh, lost its uh, glamour since because of the condition of the um, play field so it, they all uh, shifted to astroturf from the hard surface so at this one point i would uh, like to uh, suggest uh, and recommend for the sports authorities of tamil nadu and india and why should why, why not uh, we uh, initiate to have a separate uh, um, i mean skill test and uh, tournament conduct surface as a hard court as like in tennis hard court tennis and sort and um, lawn tennis and astrotur hockey so we can exclusively can go for a, a competition for the hard court uh, competitions and um, and the authorities uh, i request authorities to recommend to the concerned forum and introduce it again so that we get the glamour again so with these few words i once again thank dr sukumar the candidate and others uh, for having given me the chance to present here thank you one and all thank you sir sir good afternoon ah uh, thank you good afternoon sir this is dr tangapandian from st joseph's ah uh, yes uh, i thank for this opportunity sir i also thank uh, mr balaganesh sir uh, for letting me to play at the age of 24 uh, you can see hundreds of people to play uh, in the hockey field in saturdays and sundays it is the uh, uh, big opportunity to the youngsters in and around anandasti and chennai i have only one question sir uh, you have, uh, do you choose uh, field hockey in the field of gravel or uh, in the turf sir for uh, these norms selecting the norms oh uh, uh, there sir i have selected this uh, skill test in the uh, only not in the because we have uh, only one turf in chennai and uh, one in kovilpatti and one in enterchi so most of the players from my campus the college of the campus so so to this over thank you sir thank you Uh, yes dr kamala kanan sir if, if you need any clarifications you may ask please uh, this is the final opportunity to everyone if you are not ask any clarifications from the audience from the audience side i just conclude my session if you anyone interested to clarify your doubts now the time you may clarify your doubts yes there is no doubt why because the clear presentation and the clear response to the questions it shows the outreach knowledge in the chosen area of the research scholar mr balaganesh uh, if controller of examination is presented here with his permission i can uh, conclude myself or a research super manigandan sir complete test very well and also i gave many times and many times to ask the audience to clarify the doubts there is no response it shows the clear presentation right now i move on to the end session of this bios examination education is an endless process 
a research is an innovation process. In that innovation, we may appear the two forms. One is the already known fact we may enter for our research, or in another hand, we may not know something so that we may made an attempt on that way. So in the research aspect, we may attempt in the two way, known way or unknown way. For your kind informations, why I am saying that the construction of the skill test, it means it's a needed one, especially at present scenario. Why? Because you know very well, the Cooper 12 minutes run or walk test was established in the year 1968. So far, till date, we are using the same test to assessing cardio respiratory fitness of an individual. In Western country, they are flying in the scientifically because they are using the multi-dimensional electronic cord gates. During the treadmill running, they can assess. But though in Indian, in like in other countries, we are taking <coughs> the another test items of Cooper 12 minutes run or walk test. That is the importance of the construction of the skill test. Right. The research supervisor basically a player of the game of hockey. The research scholar also a player of a yeah, game of hockey. Both are in the same parallel track. But the external examiner no way connected with in the game of hockey. But as a researcher, as an examiner, I gone through the complete presentation of the thesis. I came to know any successful completion of research work, it depends the coin of the research problem. As far as the research problem is concerned, it's very, very priceless. There is no ambiguity, number one. Number two, in the construction of the norms, which statistical tool there may be applied. That is my point of view. They can choose them, they write and add to statistical analysis for their study. And also, they set the objective and hypothesis achieved in a scientific way. That is the most important of any research work. Unless, if the study is not proven in scientifically, unless the research not ends up to the mark. So as an examiner, I observed the presentation of the research scholar, very clear and very neat. There is no hesitate we will putting there. When I putting the questions is readily to reply the answer. It shows the depth and deep knowledge in the game of hockey. And another context, some of the participants also suggested he may accept that. And some of the participants clarified their doubts. He replied very well. In line with the evaluation of this research work, three examiners given a positive commands with the permission of this Vaivavasi board head, the control of examinations, I decided to conduct this YOVC examination on today in the Zoom meet. More than 96 participants actively participate, respond well. During the clarification session, the scholar clearly explained all the queries raised by the examiners as well as the audience. So that based on the performance of this YOVC examination, based on the positive commands of the research work who evaluated his thesis, based on his response during this particular interaction, I strongly recommend to the university authorities 
once they complete their official formalities then they may be award to doctorate in physical education to mr balaganesh year after i unofficially we may call it as dr balaganesh instead of mr balaganesh this is my official proceedings ends now just i want to to share one information here because of my teachers only i am sitting in front of you all without a teacher it is very difficult to can anyone to laddering the greater heights when i was studied bsc zoology in government arts college cheya i was selected for chengalpet division football team during that time dr jp sukumar sir worked as the director of physical education of madras kishan college and he was nominated as the manager of the chengalpet division team that is the first day i saw the quality of the physical director how we made a positive impact became a good physical director sir i am not speak in nearly my words it's my true heartedly words you are a such personality to open many athletes many players to enriching the government sector jobs in this few words you are the best example like a youngster like me how to work as a physical director because i was worked in the selvam college as a physical director then how to enrich our knowledge irrespective of the age group that is the fine quality of you sir for that i give one simple example when my first scholar submitted in the ports university in the year 2000 uh, 2010 sir became a sir is serving as the registrar i had some small title change because this is is ready without the permission of the registrar it is very difficult that time sir told sir within 10 minutes our problem solved you sit here you may submit the thesis today itself that shows the kindness of the true heart i don't know about uh, dr sukumar sir personally but during this viva was examination interactions i feel very much i became like a, a character of sukumar sir in near future i am sure sir i will follow your footpath for the upliftment of the future physical education professionals in these few words i conclude myself once again i record my sincere thanks to the honorable vice chancellor sir most respected registrar sir most respected controller of examination sir for nominating me as an external examiner of the great research work finally i express my heartfelt thanks to my teacher my teacher in the sense who enriched the exercise physiology expertise in my mind professor grace helena madam i am so happy to see you and with your blessings i am sure i will do my level best in near future once again thank you thank you for this opportunity mr balaganesh you may proceed for vote of thanks can i can i take few minutes uh, with the permission of uh, the external examiner and uh, the head of the department of uh, physical education yes sir please uh, <clears throat> i don't I, i don't feel it is out of place no for me to uh, intervene to say something uh, i am grateful to uh, dr d maniyalagu for the for the for the words spoken about me uh, thank you very much sir uh, i really accept everything uh, humbly thank you uh, as far as i am concerned tamil nadu physical education and sports university is really a big name in my life it's a really a big name in my life uh, at the outset i owe my gratitude to the present vice chancellor professor dr m sundar uh, dr gopinath the registrar 
the controller of examination okay, and the head of the department, Dr. Yes, <coughs> Manikandan, sir, and all other, uh, all others in the in the in the in the this university for being present and also encouraging my candidate uh, to complete his YOC examination today. Uh, I have to say a few things uh, before I uh, fade away because you know, this happens to be the 11th candidate and the ultimate candidate at uh, the Tamil Nadu Physical Education and Sports University. The founder vice chancellor, Dr. R. Thirmali Swami, had a really had a confidence in me and made me to serve this university from day one. He took charge with a copy of the Act of Tamil Nadu Physical Education Sports University and one rupee coin. His outstanding exemplary meticulous work laid the real good foundation to this university. I am thankful to him. My additional chief secretary to government of Tamil Nadu Higher Education Department through K. Ganesan IAS, retired, is responsible in establishing this university in this 125 acres of land in record time. I'm thankful for his guidance and encouragement. My former vice chancellor at Anna University, Dr. Vishwanathan, and my chairman of the Anna University Sports Board, Dr. K. Karnagaran, we are really no grateful, I should, and, and, and really I'm thankful for them or to, to, to them when I met them with a proposal to accommodate the Tamil Nadu Physical Education Sports University when it emerged in 2005 to function from Anna University. The Vice Chancellor asked me one question: Where would they sit? I said, no, there is a portion in the sports board. And he said, that's the right place to start with. And he also accommodated the vice chancellor, the first vice chancellor at free of cost in the international guest house. That is how the uh, Tamil Nadu Physical Education Sports University started its functioning. And I, I'm also thankful to all my colleagues in the Anand Sports Board who helped the, the Tamil Nadu Physical Education Sports University come up uh, in, in regard time. Uh, I'm greatly indebted to the contributions of all the vice chancellors, starting from Dr. R. Thirmale Swami sir to Dr. M. Sundar sir, all the registrars of the university, from Professor Ram Narayan sir to Dr. Gobinath sir, the consultants, particularly Mr. Xavier Mutupapa and Mr. Bala Subramanian sir, all control controller of con of examination, all finance officers, all distance education directors, all the heads of departments and members of faculty, syndicate members and all other officers with whom I share my responsibilities. I, my heartfelt thanks to all of them. The contributions of Professor Dr. K. Vaidinathan, the second vice chancellor under whom I served delights my heart. I have always seen him in safari suit. He decided to stay in the campus that had very limited facilities at that time and started developing all the play fields. He switches over from safari suit to track suit, worked day in, worked day in and day out and brought massive growth to this university. I'm thankful to all his contributions. I must thank through Dean Dayalan, Secretary to Government, Law Department, who was also the convener of the convener committee. And at that time, the AACT approval was required for uh, the technology and the MBA sports management courses. Therefore, I am thankful to him 
Dr. Ramakrishnan and Dr. Prem Kumar, with whom I had a chance to work with for the AACT approval. I thank them wholeheartedly. My heartful thanks goes to all the non-teaching staff. I cannot name one by one because of the paucity of time who worked with me in getting these 125 acres of land measured and marked. I would say their footprints were found spread all over this 125 acres. Amazing people, I salute them. I'm thankful to all the syndicate members of the syndicate of the uh, university who appointed me as a registrar. I was able to contribute whatever I could only because of the sharing of the works and cooperation of all the members, starting from the faculty, of, um, officers of the university, faculty, uh, and the non-teaching staff, everyone uh, in the university, in this university. Tamil Nadu Physical Education and Sports University gave the opportunity to guide scholars for PhD. Because I, I before, came to, before coming to uh, the Sports University as Registrar, I worked in uh, four institutions where I had a chance to work with the students. So I thought I will be losing that opportunity to work with the students. But Tamil Nadu, Tamil Nadu Physical Education and Sports University gave me that opportunity to work with the scholars. And that way, my journey continued. So I'm thankful to all my 11 candidates, Arun, Karthik, Akbar Ali, Permal, Ms. Gauri, Clastin David, Ms. Uma, Ms. Selvam, Jairaman, Vijay Kumar, and now Bala Ganesh. It's a sweet ending, as Dr. Maniyalag pointed out. The coincidence is, we both belong to the hockey family. We both passed out from NSNAS Patiala. We both, I, I, I worked with Mr. Bala Ganesh in the Anandish Sports Board, and uh, 11th candidate being the last candidate, and also the candidate comes from Anna University. And now, today, I just fade away from Tamil Nadu Physical Education Sports University with my last candidate. So, there are a lot of coincidences. I'm very happy about it. In this connection, I thank all the heads of departments of the, Physical, the Tamil Nadu Physical Education Sports University. Particularly, the heads of departments of uh, physical education, controller of examinations, and the, the staff in, the, in that particular section, 33 adjudicators and 11 external examiners, uh, particularly, I express my sincere thanks to Dr. D. Manialagu, who, is, who has conducted the his 25th external examination today and my the ultimate uh, candidates uh, examination just now. A specific mention must be made about Dr. Mrs. Grace Nagarajan, to whom I am thankful for devoting her valuable time and sharing her expertise and research output to all my 11 candidates. And incidentally, uh, I would like to make a statement that uh, she is also a women hockey player. I am thankful to Dr. D. Shanmuganathan, former professor and head of the department of uh, the Manormanium Sundaran University, and Mr. P. S. Raja Daniel, the deputy general manager of the Sports Development Authority of Tamil Nadu, who have given me a rich research experience in my life. I am thankful to all my teachers, especially late Mr. K. G. Srinivasan, Dr. K. Poundrada, without whom I wouldn't have raised to this level and contributed to the field of teaching, coaching, and research. Let me conclude with a quote from the Holy Bible. I have fought the good fight. I have finished the race. I have kept my faith. Thank you, one and all. A big thank you, Tamil Nadu Physical Education and Sports University, for making you unforgettable forever in my life. Thank you. Thank you, sir, for permitting me.
Thank you, sir. Mr. Balaganesh, you may proceed, please. Yes. My sincere thanks goes to Honorable Dr. M. Sundar, Vice Chancellor, Tamil Nadu, Physical Education and Sports University, for his support in the successful completion of my research work. I would like to extend my sincere thanks to respected Dr. V. Gopinath, Registrar, Tamil Nadu Physical Education and Sports University, Chennai, for the support and guidance in the successful completion of this thesis. I would like to thank Dr. D. Maniyalahu, Associate Professor, Department of Physical Education and Health Sciences, Aragapa University, Karakudi, Tamil Nadu. My sincere thanks goes to Dr. S. Manigandan, Professor and Head and Controller of Examinations, Education and Sports, Chennai, for his wholehearted support and guidance in the successful completion of <coughs> work. At this moment of accomplishment, I am greatly indebted to my lovable guide, Dr. J.P. Sukumar, sir, Director of Physical Education, retired Anna University Sports Board, Anna University Chennai, who accepted me as his PhD scholar and offered me his mentorship, scholarly guidance, constant encouragement, continuous support, and patience throughout the completion of my work. Under his guidance, I successfully overcome many difficulties and learned a lot. It was great privilege and honor to work and study under his guidance. I sincerely thank him from the bottom of my heart and will truly indebted throughout my life. I extend my sincere thanks to Dr. Grace Helena the Professor, Department of Exercise Physiology and Biomechanics, Tamil Nadu Physical Education and Sports University, for her support and guidance in the successful completion of this thesis. My sincere thanks to Dr. V. Duraisamy, brother, Assistant Professor, Department of Yoga, who extended his support through all the challenges and encouraged me throughout my research work. My sincere thanks to Dr. S. Thirumalai Kumar, Professor, Department of Physical Education, Tamil Nadu Physical Education and Sports University. I would like to extend my sincere thanks to Dr. S. Prem Kumar, Research Coordinator and Professor, Head, Department of Sports Management and Sports Psychology. I would like to thank Dr. P. K. Sintil Kumar, Associate Professor and Head in Charge Department of Exercise Physiology and Biomechanics, Tamil Nadu Physical Education Sports University. I would like to thank uh, uh, Dr. R. Ramakrishnan, Professor and Head in the Department of Advanced Sports Training and Technology, Tamil Nadu Physical Education and Sports University. I would like to thank Dr. J. Anita, Assistant Professor, Statistics and Computer Application, who helped me in the successful completion of this research work. My sincere thanks to Dr. N. Asok Kumar, the librarian of the Tamil Nadu Physical Education and Sport University, who helped in the collection of related literatures. I would like to thank Dr. R. Rajini, who is one of my friends, Associate Professor, and Dr. Kumar Avail, Associate Professor of Tamil Nadu Physical Education and Sports University, for their support in this research work. I would like to thank all the professors, Associate, associate Professor, and Assistant Professor of Tamil Nadu Physical Education Sports University, Chennai. I sincerely thank all the Chairman and Deputy Chairman of Anna University Sports Board for giving me space to work in this study. I express my sincere thanks to late Dr. S. Sundararajan, Deputy Director, Anna University Sports Board, Chennai, for his support. I sincerely thank my colleague and brother, B, Dr. B. Balakumaran, ADPA and I University Sports Board, and my colleague, elder sister, Dr. Evelyn Cynthia, Assistant Director of Physical Education and I University Sports Board, for their wholehearted support in successful completion of this dissertation. I sincerely thank all the zone secretaries uh, from uh, all over Tamil Nadu, the Director of Physical Education, who supported me in this work.
I would like to say thanks to all the office staffs and markers of Anna University Sports Board, Chennai, for their genuine support. I also thank Dr. Om Kumar, Associate Professor, Department of Manufacturing, Dr. Saravanan, Associate Professor of Mechanical Engineering, Dr. Dinagaran, Associate Professor, Department of Water Resources, Dr. Suresh Babu, Department of Manufacturing, Dr. M. M. S. Kartikeyan, for their support. I would like to thank Dr. Tirna Ratna Bhuvari, who is one of my friends. Uh, recently, he lost his uh, mother. Uh, here, I would I would uh, say homage to uh, her mother. Rest in peace. I sincerely thank Professor Dr. Alagesanana, Dr. Sai Kumarana, who always stands with me when I was studying in Marathi College of Physical Education. I would like to uh, thank all the other friends of Marathi College of Physical Education, Koyamathur, who supported me in this work. My hockey life starts at Rajabalam Friends Hockey Club during the year 1990. Now it's called, it's changed the Best Friends Hockey Club. Here I would like to thank all my senior members who molded me to this extent. My sincere thanks goes to Thiru Rajkumar, our, my district coach, uh, once he was in Virudhana district. Uh, he supported uh, to the extent. My lovable thanks to my beloved Amma Armaya Mal, my father Surali, Thayir Charanda Kovila Millai, Tandai Solmika Mandra Millai, Yen Badarik Ayarpa, Inda Alavu Na Valandadak Amma Pavada, Panga Ilana Vandirik Mudiyanna, Yenak Uru Peri Nambikya. In a Kodavin Koilo, Anglavin and Anasid, one that I know the life on the on the line Lada. It's a travel on that line only. I would like to thank my wife, our Mani Amai, who encouraged me in all my difficult times. Please. What and first of my life. I would like to thank Thanks. Mr. Balaganesh, Mr. Balaganesh, don't lose your emotional stability or a good sports personality, though it's a, a meaningful one. You this is the time to you enjoy your sessions, please. We accept, we accept all your uh, thanks and uh, kindness huh? right please Balganesh, feel free. Don't hesitate, huh? Please, you go ahead. Whatever you feel, you go ahead and control yourself. Oh, thanks. To my brother, Paul Rich. <laughs> Uh, Balaganesh, take her one time, no issue. We all are in the sports fraternity. I give a simple example in the hurdle race. The word event name is hurdle. The event name is hurdle. It shows if you take it is negatively, you can't succeed or you can't overcome that hurdle. The event name is hurdle. You have the confidence, you have the potentiality, then you may cross every adult in successful manner. It is the sports. But when you talk about the home based, the home huddles, once can overcome, it means it shows a lot of pain. 
that outcome only now we saw that in the form of balganesh phase mr balganesh no worry if you are able to complete yourself you can continue otherwise i declared this viva was examination is yes yes sir. please yes please yes please i like to thank my brother palraj and my sister reni who is having the parental care at all times i would convey my respected thanks to my father in law raj kumar and mother in law glory marathon and my cousin siddarth and alagamma i would like to share my personal and professional thanks again to dr jp sukumar sir who is our supporter when i was to this field of hockey he showed his initial support by providing the sports kits and remained shoulder to shoulder in all the times he supported me for initiating conducting and this now hockey league where it is actor as my best grip for the players i would like to share my whole hearted thanks to all hockey players finally i would like to say my soulful thanks to my hockey family i don't i don't know how to express my feeling when i speak about my team it is always a positive positive vibe no money people to my team you i would say it is a tree it gives happiness when i speak about my team it is a team society with a lot of human beings who always follow our discipline and equality which is necessary for this society with this and also on my this a uh, coincident on this day i lost my beloved bala dr suma sir known very well that is much 31 also the positive one is i joined anna university on this day that is march 31 today i am presenting my phd with this i would like to say thanks to everyone thank you one uh, sir thank you mr balaganesh for your uh, emotional uh, uh, thanks to everyone it shows uh, the way you grow up so every one pray for your uh, future and your further academic journey wish you good luck to you all thank you sir in this fever i wind up this phc vios examinations with the permission of controller of examinations and other university authorities thank you thank you one and all thank you sir thank, thank you, you very much thank you sir thank you thank you one and all thank you manindan sir thank you very much Sir, can I leave? Can I leave the Zoom? Because we, 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 uh, the, 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 I, I cannot grant permission for that, sir. <laughs> you all, Manikandan sir, because Manikandan sir already gave a permission yes, to. Yes, sir. Yes, sir.